It's tough finding wigs when you have gray hair. They don't make a lot of them. You really only have a few choices. You've got the ombre. These are nice because they're dark at the roots and silver here. And even if you don't have naturally dark hair, like I don't, see how I just pulled a little of my own hair out around the front? And then you just brush that over the top, spray it, you're good to go. Nobody can tell. And it's gonna blend a lot of tones together. So loving the ombre gray wigs and there's a bunch of them out there. The problem with finding gray wigs is there really only seems to be one really consistent look with gray wigs. And that's this. gray hair, but I don't necessarily want to look like a little old lady. And I don't think having gray hair means you have to look like this. And yet society seems to think that if you have silver hair, you have to be this nice, sweet little old lady. F all that. Remember those wigs I chopped up a couple of days ago? Let's play. This wig has way too much hair. It's ridiculous. It's very wiggy looking. I removed six rows of extension, or six rows of hair from it. Didn't make a difference. It's still got way too much hair. So this is still going to be a wig that I wear when I want to look over the top. Nothing wrong with looking over the top. It's a lot of hair. Because I removed six rows of hair, I've made the wig considerably smaller, which means I can set it further back on my head. See, I have combs here and here and at the... So I want to just give myself a little... something for those combs to grab onto. Before you slide those combs in. What is with these wigs today that all want to go this way when my hair goes this way? Ah, annoying. Okay. So you can see, this wig doesn't even match my hair all that well. It's okay on the ends, but right there at the roots, a bit of a color difference. No one will notice. So basically, once you take, you cover up all of these seams, now obviously if I'm going to be doing a comic book convention, I'm gonna leave the hair pretty much like this. We're gonna keep it big and wild, but for real life, is it just a little unrealistic? And just when you have a wig this long, it's hard to even keep it combed and looking good because there's just so much hair here. So a good thing to do is just to sort of throw it casually up. Treat it like you would your own hair. 
I really have to get hair clips. I got rid of all my hair clips. Can you believe that? I, when I moved from Arizona back to California in September, October, well, right on that edge, um, I had short hair and hadn't gone gray yet. And I had all this stuff that I'd carried around for years and I went, I'm getting rid of all of it. I don't need any of this anymore. All those hair clips and bobby pins and theatrical makeup and all the stuff that I really need right now that I'm doing YouTube videos. I really wish that a year ago I knew I was gonna be doing YouTube videos so I'd have kept all of that. I can't even put this hair up, which gives me half a video, which means I suck. Anyway, we'll have to save a an actual wig styling video for once I acquire more accessories than just a big over the top hair over it already. So that's one of the wigs I butchered the other day. Now let's look at the other wig I butchered the other day. I'm looking so pretty. I'm looking all I'm looking all beautiful for you, aren't I? Yeah. And people wonder why I'm wearing wigs right now. Because I got this on my head. So this wig, I have to say I kind of butchered it. I didn't do a great job. This is where wig construction is, there's so much more to it than we really realize. The wig is nice and small now, but see how it has this part where it goes ear to ear? Now it wants to sit like right here on my head and I need it to sit here and those, it's just, it's still too big. I took a tuck in it and it's just, it's really just still too big. And it was an inexpensive wig, and that's what you get when you buy inexpensive wigs online. You don't always know what you're getting. Um, so I've got my three combs in here. Now it's gonna grab onto my hair. Let me just pull my own hair out for now. I want this on the back of my head, not the front of my head, so get all this hair up towards the front. Now that I can't see anything, and I want this to be right about pulling those flaps down to right over the ear, comb, snap, comb, snap, and the final comb. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we just did with the great big over the top wig. We're just gonna comb our hair up over. Because we've gotta go in the right way this time. So you can see what I mean right here. It wants to be really forward there, and I'd really like it to be further back here, but I can't get it further back there because that's the wig and that's how it's made. So I just have to, I have to cheat, I have to make do. I can tuck that behind the ear a little bit. It does make the ear stick out a little. Right there, just comb that over. And that is the wig that I cut up a couple days ago. You can see it's nice in that it's fitting a lot closer to my head. I had, I had a bunch of extra space in here where you couldn't tell, but I could tell. This, this is a lot closer to my head now. So removed six rows on it. Very, very happy that I did. There's your follow up on what I did when I deconstructed my wigs a couple of days ago, plus a couple more gray wigs. Uh, silver wigs, 
There's not a lot of variety out there if you're looking for a silver wig. When I bought this particular wig online, it looks very different in the picture from what it looks like here on my head. And I was disappointed, but I've learned to like this. Um, it's always a lot easier when you can actually see it in person. So we've got our little old lady gray wig. And unfortunately, when you look around for silver wigs, for gray wigs, you find a lot of little old lady wigs. And I don't care what your face looks like, if you put on a little old lady wig, you're gonna look like a little old lady. The ombre two-tone wigs that we're seeing a lot of on the market nowadays. This is the color that you see more often where it is darker at the roots and ombres out. It is a dark brown. So if you have dark brown hair, this blends very well, but it also blends well, as we discovered, if you have silver hair. And I could even pull that my own hair out and do a little bit of dark at the roots if I wanted to for certain events, for a certain look. Um, and I'm sure you will see me doing that here eventually. This is another form of ombre. This ombre basically has it has like white hair all over and then the very top row on this wig is a darker tone because this was a very inexpensive wig. This was not a good quality wig. And then I have my big over the top hair that is not gonna, I mean, let's face it, who's really gonna think, oh, that's my hair? That's, that's more hair than a horse has. It's huge, it's a lot of hair, even with the six rows that I removed. But sometimes over the top is good. So there's a few different wig choices for those ladies with silver hair. I will drop links down below where I can. Uh, I am not a wig expert. I will drop a link for a wig expert down below. If you... I'm having fun with these wigs, I love playing with wigs. I have always loved playing with wigs. I have worn wigs in almost all of my movies. So now I'm just exploring the options that silver wigs have to offer. Please subscribe to my videos. I hope you have a terrific day. I will talk to you later.